Swing state voters worried about the economy hold the key to the 2012 presidential race. Even with an unemployment rate well below the national average, Virginia's economic recovery is uneven. Volunteers at the Fredericksburg Area Food Bank are witnessing hardship firsthand. We have overall about 31% increase on all the services that we provide. Over 21,000 people every month rely on the food bank for help, including growing numbers of children. With donors already stressed, Oliver doesn't expect demand to fall until the local economy picks up. At this point in the presidential race, it's all about winning the battleground states. Here in rural Virginia, there are still signs of economic stress. But in Ohio, there are glimmers of hope. The fight is on for Ohio's all-important 18 electoral votes. A conservative Democrat, twice retired 91-year-old mechanic, Thurman Spicer, believes things are looking up. I think uh, uh, Obama made some improvements. The heavily courted voters of Ohio are considered representative of the nation as a whole. And after 25 years of watching Ohio politics, Paul Beck says Republicans are sensing opportunity. I think the real battleground this year is working class white voters. People who, in some cases, ha have lost jobs because of the decline of heavy industry in Ohio. Some of them aren't really happy with Obama, are not drawn to him. Partly, I think, in some cases because of his race. Obama and his supporters credit the auto bailout for saving jobs, important in a state where about one in eight jobs are linked to the auto industry. I mean, there's still people out there that are hurting, of course, but, you know, people are, are feeling better about uh, the way the economy is headed. But not everybody is convinced that either candidate will work. Because none of us going to do anything for me or anybody in this bar. With early voting underway in many states, there is precious little time for either Romney or Obama to seize the lead. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.